Hey there, fellows. Now, you might remember this car. It has participated in a number of experiments. We were putting the engine back together after the last one, and we noticed something. It turns out there's a lot of sludge in it. The inside of the cylinder head is quite painful to look at. It gives you the impression that it has never been treated to high-quality motor oil. Well, maybe it has a long time ago. But that oil then turned into something not so high-quality, and then apparently went completely sour. Now, you might recall how a couple of years ago we used Dimixide to clean stuff. It actually didn't do all that bad. However, when we started that trend, I think that a tiny bottle of Dimixide went for about 17 rubles, or 28 cents. But now it's around 200, which is one hell of an increase. I don't know, either because it's in such high demand now, or... Anyway, we were pondering an idea that also came up in the comments, to flush a fully assembled engine. But instead of Dimixide, we'll be using some of that. That right there is paint remover. Some hardcore grade-A stuff. As far as I know, that can eat through literally any kind of paint. Make it sizzle, curdle, flake, and make it easy to remove. It's a curious agent in that it's quite similar to Dimixide, actually. I'd really like to have the chemical composition of both of them on hand to compare them. Because I'm fairly sure that there's at least some commonality there. Because both of them freeze when cold, and become crystal clear when you warm them up. We know that Dimixide works well, but this is quite a bit cheaper. Anyway, I suggest we go ahead and put this engine back together. Though we will have to remove the oil pan and get the paint off of it from the inside. And the same goes for the valve cover. If that's also painted on the inside. Because this, like Dimixide, will obviously make the paint curdle. Anyway, then we'll put everything back on, pour that stuff in, start the engine and flush it. Assuming this actually works, if it is able to remove the sludge, we'll see some results fairly quickly, I reckon. Whether it's able to or not, we'll find out very soon, so let's get to it. Wait, have you seen our new Freddy-style t-shirt? If not, hit the link in the description. If you're still here, you should know that aside from a new t-shirt, we offer a lot of other different merch, bearing the Garage 54 logo. Past payment issues have been solved, and now you can send payment for your order even via PayPal. So if you'd like to treat yourself, a friend or a relative to some awesome Garage 54 merch, hit the link in the description to head on over to our shop. And don't forget to use the promo code for a solid discount. Now back to the video. Flushing the engine with paint remover, will it work? Translation and voiceover by BMI Russian. So check this out. We've taken our guinea pig outside, everything is looking good, the engine is fully assembled, it starts and runs. We've got about two to two and a half liters of fresh oil in there, and a new filter. Now we're gonna start it and let it warm up for a bit. That's in order for the paint remover to do well, to prevent it from getting all lumpy, like we notice Dimixide tends to do. Now, we got it outside for the sake of safety. We don't want anybody getting high on fumes. Okay, let's fire and warm it up. And begin the flushing process, let's do this. The revs are pretty high. Right, guys, we're gonna allow it to get nice and warm. 
And once about seven to ten minutes go by, we'll pour in some of that stuff. No, that's not it. Yeah, that's the one. All right, so the engine is warm. We even have it running at low revs. Though it is a bit unstable, but then it is far from new, so... Anyway, that doesn't really bother us. What matters to us is testing the efficacy of that paint remover. So let's go ahead and... Switch this off. Pour in the liquid. Fire the engine back up. And keep on running it. How long should we let it run? Like 15 to 20 minutes? What do you think? 20 sounds good to me. You think? Yeah, you want me to pour it? Yeah, go for it. What if I spill some? What, are you worried it'll melt the engine block? Don't breathe in the fumes. Some of it is going to evaporate. It's already... And that is why we're doing this outside. You do not feel good standing next to it. Hopefully it doesn't melt everything to the bone. Damn wind! Perhaps I should have used a funnel. Will you look at that? How much was in there, anyway? I think it was a bit less than... It was around 700 grams. Let's pour the second bottle in as well. The paint next to the filler cap is already starting to flake. It reacts almost immediately. No, that stung my eyes. That should do it, I reckon. We had to have put in about a kilogram. All right, well. Fire it up, Sergey. Now we let it run for a bit. Half an hour later. Okay, guys, we're looking pretty good here. We let it run for half an hour. The oil filler cap looks nice and clean. Oh, wow, and everything next to it is also looking good. The cradle is clean. Yeah, you really don't want to smell this stuff. Might as well start dismantling it right here, because if we bring it inside, it is going to seriously stink up our facility. At the very least, we should drop the oil and remove the valve cover. Well, I mean not the oil, but rather whatever the paint remover has cleaned off. We should get a fairly good understanding of how it worked. The oil really doesn't look that much darker. How do I know why the dipstick is yellow? It seems to have oxidized. But the oil doesn't look too contaminated. Anyway, let's crack it open, have a look. And show the people what's up. All right, so here's what we see under the cover. The camshaft cradle is clean, very clean indeed. However, most of the residue is still there. I don't know, perhaps we should have allowed it to run for longer. I mean, the residue has obviously become quite loose. Another 10 minutes and it would have been gone for sure. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. It definitely would have come off 
eventually. I mean, you obviously can't drive around with this stuff inside the engine, because you never know what might happen. But then it was idling rather well. I didn't hear any weird noises or knocking. And this stuff mixes with oil quite well. And it seems to have done a good job cleaning. All right, let's have a look at that oil. Wow, the oil is super dirty. Well, obviously, that's where all of the residue would wind up. It was flushed into the oil pan. And all it took was half an hour to get so black. So this stuff works, apparently. Anyway, here's something I really think we should try. Remove the filter, cut it open, and have a look inside. The one we have installed was brand new. And you can plainly see what happened to the fresh motor oil. Now let's take a look inside the filter. I mean, I am super curious. There we are. We've opened up the filter and sliced the paper. And it is rooted. It got so dirty after half an hour. It looks like the filter is totally clogged. I have no idea why we've never tried this. The idea literally just occurred to us. Yeah, you can see that it ate up all of the crap from inside the motor. Yeah, that's a lot of sludge. And we only let the engine run for half an hour. And so there you have it. It didn't take long at all for everything to get flushed out. Though I should mention that there is one slight issue. It so happens that when using something this aggressive to flush the engine, well, a clogged filter is going to result in decreased oil pressure. Not to mention the oil pickup might get clogged which is going to reduce the pressure even further. And so I suggest we remove the oil pan and see what condition the oil pickup is in. Check to see whether there's any buildup on the strainer. If there is, well, that's bad news. Given how fast the residue started to come off, the pickup very well might have gotten clogged. And that's never a good thing. So let's remove the oil pan and see what's going on under there. Let's do this. And here we are. We've removed the oil pan, and here's the oil pickup strainer. What can I tell you? It's not as bad as I expected. I mean, there is some buildup, but not too much. It definitely didn't get clogged. So apparently, it wasn't flushing out like big chunks. And that's great. That tells us that you can use this stuff to flush the engine without worrying too much, though you should keep an eye on the oil pressure. Well, and there you have it, fellows. Like I mentioned, Dimixide has become quite expensive as of lately. As for paint remover, I mean, just look at how it dissolved that sludge. And it didn't even clog the oil pickup strainer. But then perhaps half an hour simply wasn't enough to do any serious damage. It was enough to loosen the residue, though. I'm fairly sure we can get the rest of it out simply by running the engine on some fresh oil. I still think we're better off not doing that, though. And that's all I got for you. We gave it a try, the engine was able to make it through this alive. Even the strainer fared well, though the oil filter got very filthy. But the strainer is good, the residue is loose, and a lot of it has been flushed out. Give it a couple of hours, it'll be perfect. Anyway, that's all I have for you. You saw it all for yourselves. Watch us, subscribe, send in your suggestions, comment, give us a big thumbs up. All right, catch you later.